Kira, come on. So we are parked over there and we're going for a walk up there and at present people are abseiling. Yeah, don't think that's for me somehow. Hmm. We made it. We're at the top. Top of the hill. We're out of breath. Um, just, just to our left is a church, and we're going to go and see that in a minute. And I should be taking pictures of that as usual for my Facebook page. What oh, a nice little church. And. Uh, Lots of old graves here. Let me out! Let me out! No. Please let me out! No. You're nasty. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Why? You get all your chocolate. Now you let me in here. Let me out. Bye, Mr. Doyle. <laughs> Bye, no. Mr. Doyle. No. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Oh, we've got to go in here. So we've just come out and seen Mr. P's the world famous. Mr. D's got the hump, but Mr. P is very happy. Are you happy, Mr. P? world famous. Happy. Oh yeah, seaside chips, lovely stuff. Huh? Seaside chips, lovely stuff. And that was it. Our trip to Uphill Wolf was finished. And the following day we left. The weather was still getting better. So good evening folks. Good evening from Cherry Tree Cottage in Dorset. We've just had a um, lovely dinner, our fresco dining outside. First time really in five days? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, basically yeah. The weather's been a bit wet the last, yesterday was really wet. Um, and before that it was sort of a bit breezy so we couldn't eat outside. So today, you know, it's a beautiful day now here in Dorset and the next couple of days are supposed to be, weather-wise, improving. So the next morning the weather had improved and we caught the local bus to Dorchester and we came across this lovely Roman villa where you can walk around entirely free and it had the most amazing mosaic flooring which I haven't seen anything like this for a long time so we're all very impressed with this we headed back to get the bus back and this is what happened on route oh she's getting she's shaking she's excited Kira at this point nothing will stop her she will stay like that for hours watching that cat. I haven't got time for this, Kira. Let's go. The following morning, another bus, this time to Sherbourne. And out of the bus window, this is what we saw. I'll let you make up your own minds on this one. Just arrived in Sherbourne. Or Sherbourne. I should say to this lovely old building and around there is the Abbey I think we're going to go and have a little wander in there it's quite impressive apart from the scaffolding Not only did we discover that the Abbey was beautiful, but that Sherbourne had a castle. In fact, it had two castles, and this is the old castle. And it was absolutely beautiful for a lovely walk around. And 
what a lovely town Shervan turned out to be. That was back to the site, we watched the stunning, stunning sunsets and we chilled out and the next day we were moving on to our next location. If you want to see the review on Cherry Cottage, it's in our playlist. Good morning. We're in the new forest. There's our van. Welcome to Black Knoll Campsite. It's in the heart of the New Forest. So good morning folks, um, yeah so we are at the end of an 11 night stay, um, we're just doing the um, housekeeping jobs which is emptying our waste um, and just hoovered the van, got rid of our rubbish and we're heading home. Um, the weather's been changeable the past couple of weeks, it's a bit drizzly today here in the New Forest but we did get a lovely day yesterday out um, so we're here at Black Knoll campsite it's a lovely site yes we would come back and um, yes and that's it we've got an exciting couple of weeks planned over the next couple of weeks we've got to pack our house up with water bungalow um, by the coast and um, we hope to bring you along with us so I think we'll end the video here and um, we'll see you on the next one bye for now